Hello, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my sewing room. I'm excited to share with you today a pattern review of the Laura dress by Rebecca Page, but with a fun, 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 fun twist. So get ready. It's going to be fun. Uh, it starts with a story. If that's all right, it'll be quick. I like to watch YouTube channels as much as anybody and one of my favorites is a channel called Michelle Sews Again. She is amazing and I was watching one of her videos earlier this year and she was talking about her plans and what she was going to do with her channel and she said she wanted to do more collabs and that's what we call a collaboration between two video channel creators and uh, so I wrote her a note and I said I'd like to collab with you and so we put it on the calendar and here we are. It's our collab. So she said, well, what would you like to do? And I said, really, it's up to you. You know, I don't do a lot of these collabs. And so I really don't know. I mean, I just don't have any ideas. I don't know. And uh, that's the hardest part because there's certain things I want to make. And would my other person want to make the same thing? So uh, one of the things I know about Michelle is I love her vibe. And I love what she picks is very similar to what I pick. So I felt really safe letting her choose. But she uh, sent me lots of things to choose from. So... She sent me a list of patterns and she said, what if I, since I like to sew on stretchy knits and she likes to sew on wovens, what if she makes the same garment in a woven and I make it in a knit? And I'm like, can you do that on one same pattern? She said, absolutely. So she sent me several to choose from. And on that list was the Laura dress by Rebecca Page. You know what was interesting about that is I had that pattern. I had it and I've had it for a while. Like I thought I was gonna make it, but I didn't. I just did it, it's just been sitting there. It's not free, I paid for it, but I didn't make it. What a waste. So I said, let's do the Laura dress. Would you like to do that? Because she said um, she'd already made it and she liked it, so she would definitely make it again. And um, she said it's a little short. And I thought, well, not if you're wearing leggings. So we decided to do the Laura dress by Rebecca Page. So after we decided to do the Laura dress, I got excited to try it. And I like to do a test garment. Um, you could call it a muslin. I just don't use muslin. I use regular fabric. So this is my test garment for this dress. And I made it, let me remove a couple things out of my way. I made it um, out of this because it's not my favorite fabric. I, I didn't have a lot of it. So this dress was perfect because it doesn't take, without sleeves, it doesn't take a lot of fabric. Um, it's stretchy knit. One of the reasons I'm not super fond of this fabric is that it's got this nylon-y feel to it and feel is everything. I like my fabrics to just feel luscious and soft and buttery. That's a name. That's a word. If you type buttery when you're searching for soft knits, you're going to find really soft ones. So I made this my test and um, let me just tell you a couple of things about my experience to get to um, fixing it just the way I wanted it. First of all, I want to share the size chart because that's everything, right? So let me put the size chart up so you can see it because, man, no two size charts are alike, right? So I like to go by the size chart and hardly ever does anything ever fit me when I follow their measurements. They put the numbers on there. I match those numbers. And the garment should fit me. So I always have a pet peeve about that. So let's just look and see what this is going to be. I I want to just like say my measurements are close to a certain size, but then you're going to know what they are. So we don't have any secrets here, right? So it's only the whole internet and the whole world is now going to hear my measurements. Are you ready? Take notes and put it in the news. <sighs> my bust is 44. So based on this, she calls it chest. An XL, which I feel like I'm an XL, is a 42. That is not a 44. So next size up. XXL is a 45 bust chest. So that would fit me. So I'm thinking XXL, X, two X's. And then you go to the waist and that's 38. My waist is 41 and a half. I have a big waist. And with this dress, it's not gonna matter because it's not going to be fitted at the waist. And let's just see what the hips are, 48. My hips are 46. See, my hips are smaller than most people, you know, most shapes. So I think the XXL is right based on my measurements. Right? Guess what? It was. It was. So uh, two stars or whatever, how many stars, A plus for Rebecca Page patterns to have the size that fit me based on my measurements. Now, if you want to kind of see, you know, how this is going to work, 
you go to finished garment measurements and she has that at she didn't even put the waist yes she did put the waist no hips the xxl was 49.5 here and the waist was 46.2 so i was covered no matter what when i looked at the finished garments garment measurements so that was fine other than hemming the entire dress is made with the serger so i love that man it almost feels like it almost feels like you know you kind of think um sew up the back seam whoop, sew up the shoulder seams whoop, whoop. then you get to the side seams and they're supposed to be pockets there's no pockets on this dress and i am a pocket fanatic but i had to lose my pockets here's why i i made the dress and um you really can't see the fit until you do the side seams and the side seams include the pockets so i went ahead and put the pockets in based on the markings which was right here on this pattern this is my cutout pattern and when i tried the dress on it's slinky this is very slinky the pocket was showing a little bit here because it's right here and it kind of hung down so i felt like my pocket placement needed to be somewhere else so i lost the pockets i just shaved them off and um but since i had the dress on i went ahead and put my hand where i would like my pocket to be and i marked it on my pattern so when i made my next garment i wouldn't have to worry about the pockets because they'd be in the right place so this didn't have pockets boohoo but it's fine it's really pretty and i'm gonna wear it a lot i love making a test garment because if it turns out I have a garment to wear and I will love wearing this. You know what else is fun about this uh, test garment? It's tie dye. If you follow Michelle Sews again, my partner today, she does custom tie dyeing. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's amazing. And um, I've seen, I've pre-seen her dress and she did an amazing, it's art, you guys, it's art. It's beautiful. She did tie dye in my favorite color. I'm gonna want her dress. It's in my favorite colors, the blues. I love the blues, not just music, but I love blue colors. And obviously, <laughs> look at my room. So, uh, so this is my homage to Michelle having my tie dye and she did her homage to me by having it in my favorite colors. I don't know if she did that on purpose, but there you are. So the test dress turned out great. I'm going to wear it. And it kind of prepared me to make this dress, which was uh, something I really like this fabric more. So I didn't want to waste it. And uh, it's not wasted. It turned out great. So I want to show you me wearing both of these, but with a little twist. I'm going to show you my garments, my finished garments, Michelle Sews Again style. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you are missing out. You are missing out because Michelle dances in her makes, in her garments. It's so fun. It just lifts my spirits every time I see her post because she dances. So I am not, I'm, I'm more reserved. <laughs> I think, oh, can I do that? No, 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 people would see. Oh gosh. So I'm gonna dance it for you. Just for you, Michelle. Are you ready? What? I love these. I love these. I'm going to tell you a couple of reasons why. I do have a big waist and um, some of that is just my body shape always been this way but some of that's age. You know you get a little older. I'm 62 but my birthday is in a couple weeks so I'll be 63 and just big skip big skip boober. <laughs> Boobs get bigger. Stomach. It's just a kind of um, mature woman body and I'm tired of trying to feel like that's not okay. I'm just tired of it. But I still want to dress for it. You know, like I want to dress in ways that flatter it. And I don't think hiding your big waist works. Okay, that's a little harsh. But if you wear a tent dress to hide your big waist, you just look bigger. That's just been my experience. So I do like figure flattering clothes that figure flatter this figure. And this dress does it. So if you are more in the bust, more in the waist, and slimmer in the hips, 
this would be a great dress for you. Because typically when we're like that, we also have slimmer legs. And this shows off legs and hides the belly. And it just looks great. So I'm really thinking this is ticking all my boxes. So I love it. Um, I'm giving it A+. Plus. I want to make it again. And I would like to see go and see Michelle's dress because I want to see it in woven. It, the pattern said you could do it either way and it had instructions for either way. So it said if you're doing a serger, do it this way. If you're doing a sewing machine, do it this way. If you want this, do it this. That, that, that gave you all these different little things that you could do differently. And so I followed the serger instructions. Um, it was cool. I have a video on how to put in inseam pockets with the serger. And in this pattern, she explained it the way I do it with the clips and everything. So uh, I was really happy to see that. What else did I want to tell you? I have two new dresses. Woohoo! And I will make this again. I don't have anything else to add after I looked at my notes. I just want to say it was easy to cut out. I, I think I'd like to make it in a woven with a longer version, which I did not print out. I did the, the top is right here and the tunic's right here. And I didn't foresee myself ever wanting the longer version. But um, I would like to wear this as a dress. So I might um, reprint, even if I could just reprint the pages that had the hem. If I could figure that out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I uh, give this an A+. Plus. You need to go and see Michelle's beautifully beautifully put together dress i cannot wait to go see it myself and um thank you so much michelle for collabing with me we must must do it again that was really fun and i've enjoyed it so much and i got two great dresses out of it so yay go take a look at her channel and thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button if you don't mind ring the little bell and thumbs up and a comment all the things all the things would be great. I'm here every Friday for Friday Sews. A little bit of life. A little bit of sewing. <laughs> I mean, it is Friday Sews. And uh, I have a glamped up camper that I do like to put out videos on. If you want to see that, uh, go look at my Trailer Tuesday playlist. And um, you know, all kinds of things. So come back. And I look forward to getting to know you. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you next time. Bye now.